Hey, Steve Fenton here from Lighthouse Fresh Glimpse Devotionals. I love Christmas. I love this time of the year. I actually love everything about it. The garish lights, the sound of uh, carols playing in the mall, the noise, the hustle, the bustle. I love it. Now, I, I don't like people overspending, and I hate to hear of those who get discouraged and depressed, try to be sensitive to them, but but I just love this season. And you know, there's one main reason that I do, and that's because every year we get together with our family, as many as who can come with their children. So I have my children, my grandchildren all around me, and I love it. Everybody will tell you, I, I, I'm just like a little king. I, I sit in the middle of all of it, and I just look around me with a grin on my face, and I just feel so blessed, so rich, so so incredibly joyful at that time of the year. I, I was with the Lord the other day in, in the quietness of an early morning. I was thinking about all of that and Christmas. And, you know, we know what Jesus did when he came. He, he saved us from our sins, which is awesome. He, he opened the door to the kingdom of heaven. He, he did so many things to set us free from our enemies and the things that, that really destroy us within. But I... I started just thinking about a simple question, and I, and I honestly just said to the Lord, why, why did you come? Why did you come to the earth? So in the quietness of that beautiful morning, I felt like time began to slow down. It was one of those God moments. And I heard this simple phrase in my mind, to be with you. And honestly, it was like, a burst of peace in my soul. And I'm still moved when I think about it. And I just sat there to be with me. That's amazing. But before you think I'm being presumptuous, and I, I guess I, I, I did too for a, for a few minutes, this is the testimony of the Bible. 800 years before Jesus came, the prophet Isaiah said that a, a virgin would, would conceive and give birth to a son and they would call him Emmanuel, God with us. And Joseph, hearing from an angel, was told not to be afraid to marry Mary because the child conceived in her was of God and that he would be called Jesus and he would save his people from their sins and that this explains what it meant when the prophet Isaiah said, and you shall call him Emmanuel. God with us. Some might ask, well, so what? God with us, what, what's the big deal? Well, think about it. God with us doesn't just mean he watches. God with us means he really is with us and for us. And he steps into our lives and he blesses us in so many ways. What it would be like, I wonder, if, if, if in every major decision we could absolutely count on the reality that God was there to give guidance and wisdom and blessing and, and every temptation was there to rescue us and in every hurt or challenge was there to comfort us. This is the summation of all of the good things about the good news. God with us. As you look at the rest of the devotional on the website today, get a fresh glimpse of that. And go through Christmas with that amazing, amazing idea that God with us is happening. Just like me sitting around with my kids, God is sitting around with us, uh, grinning from ear to ear, delighted to be there, encouraging, changing, blessing our lives, and filling us with his great hope.